Alfred, why? Because of the rebels. The rebels. They're nothing more than one or two fanatics. You know as well as I do. Unless they were trying to create trouble here. To undermine the governor's position. Reagan. You better explain that. If you're removed, who takes your place? The deputy governor, of course. And that's the real reason behind all this trouble, isn't it, Quinn? Go on. You attack the examiner in the mercury swamp and blame it on the rebels. Then you sabotage the radio. Blame that on the rebels, too. Get him out of my sight. That's so before you listen to these preposterous allegations. Right. I chose Quinn myself. I trained him for the job. Why, in a few years' time, he'd have had this seat. Now, Prime Governor, a few years is a long time to wait. Or break. Governor? You will assume Quinn's duties. As of now, you are Deputy Governor. Ah! I hope you know what you're doing. So do I. of um, familiar faces there. Um, I think that was Bernard Archer playing Bregan, the guy in the uniform there, who, of course, went on to play Marcus Scarman in Pyramids of Mars. And the other actor playing the governor, Hensel, later appeared in The Claws of Axos, I believe, um, but of course, um, this is arguably the most important Doctor Who story ever. Um, because if Patrick Troughton hadn't made such a immediate success in taking over the role from Billy, then again, um, the series may well have come to an abrupt end. So, I mean, we just saw in that scene there, his sort of interaction with you know, Annika and Mike Craze and how well sort of the chemistry between all three of them, instantaneous. And, you know, lovely to see the quirkiness of the second Doctor coming through in that short scene there. I have to say this is um, one of my um, favourite stories of all time. Um, it's so sad that all six episodes are missing. Um, but there are um, a few clips available uh, and reconstructions, um, thanks to, you know, Blue Peter, etc. Um, but the Daleks are, are very callous, well, 
more callous than usual in this one. I, I think their evil really shines through in this one. Um, yes, it's very evident about how murderous and uh, destructive beings they they really are. But a fantastic start opener to uh, the second Doctor's era. Um, I can't really fault it. Um, fantastic performances from the scientist Lesterson, who goes, you know, quite mad a little bit later on in the story. Um, just the whole production is so um, hypnotic. Yeah, but I think most praise must go to the undeniably brilliant Patrick Troughton.